Saw the first two episodes. I really want to say congrats. They sent me three and four right like an hour ago. So, of course, I couldn't watch them yet. But um, the first two episodes are real good and they're really different than season one in terms of the darker tone. Um, so can you sort of touch on that, like for fans, um, that it is it does feel like a different show after the first two episodes? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, making season one, making the show all up is is such a huge endeavor. And so much about season one was sort of finding our footing, right? And figuring out what it is to make the show, what it is to bring the universe to life. And I think by the time we got to season two, which was literally about half an hour after we wrapped season one, we were really clear on what we wanted to do with season two based on the experience of making season one, right? I think with all of the experience of the crew, it was very much about how do we ensure with season two, we're getting to that emotional connection. We're we're making sure the story is the thing that shines through, that character is the thing that shines through. And at the same time, kind of getting back to our our halo roots in that really, you know, sort of grounded space and and bringing David on um, who had a really specific vision around how to do that allowed us to achieve it, I think, with season two. I was just going to say, David, it it does feel like the Covenant are stronger, tougher, uh, more badass in season two. And and the visuals on them looks real good. Can you sort of talk about that? Yeah, th- thanks. Uh, that was, um, I think, really important to kind of creating that kinetic, visceral feeling of being in the fight. You know, a, a Covenant Elite is nine and a half feet tall and holding an energy sword. It should be scary. Um, and I think, you know, our approach was to kind of lean into that subjective perspective where we're with our soldiers in the fight affected by the fog of war. So you're not always seeing where the enemy is uh, until, you know, it's right on top of you. Um and, uh, and, you know, I mean, even in playing Halo, there is an overlap. There's that fine line between action and horror. And I think like grounding and this, the, the sequences in that grittier, darker tone, like helps us lean into that anxiety of, of um, what it's like to be in the fight. So I'm going to run this after the first two episodes have aired. So when uh, Joseph Morgan is, is talking to Cortana, about the 95% or the 97% certainty. Uh, yeah. Are they talking about the flood? Are they, what are they talking? What do you want to tease about what they're talking about? They're talking about the the steady approach of the covenant, the encroachment on the outer colonies, um, which, you know, we see at the very beginning, right? So they're having to evacuate people. Um, and at that point, no one really suspects how close to their, uh, how close they may be. So, without giving too much away, which you'll, you'll see tonight. Um, uh, she's gamed out um, the possibilities and, and they're going to require uh, some uh, counter moves. The hallmark of season two, season one, the fight was very much out in the outer colonies, right? It was, it felt a little bit distanced and now the fight is really is coming close to home. And I think that's the sort of pervasive tension through season two that makes it feel a lot darker. And so, yeah, they're always running this analysis of, you know, how close are they to finding the seat of humanity? Well, one of the things uh, a a bunch of fans asked me, uh, you know, I said I was going to talk to you guys, blah, blah, blah. And so one of the things people wanted to know is if we will be going to the ring in season two. Um, And I'm actually not sure we are, but based on your smiles, I think we are now. What can you tease? I mean, I just say that, you know, anyone who's familiar with the the franchise and it's the title of the show, it's I think we certainly we're going to uh, entertain that possibility. Um, And Master Chiefs, you know, on the road to understanding who who he is in relationship to this thing, not just as an object, but as a symbol Um, and, you know, what it kind of metaphorically means. So. Yeah, I, I mean, that's where we're headed. Right, got it. So I mean, when I, was, I don't know how to be cagey about it, man. Like, I mean, well, I mean, listen, it's it's been introduced. It's not like this is foreign stuff. With if you're a Halo fan, um, but when I was on set, one of the things that I learned, and I don't know if it's true, uh, is that maybe one of these episodes could be close to a oneer, or like I don't know if that ended up happening or not. So I'm just asking you, did 
episode four or five or one of those end up being like a big action one -er type thing. Yeah. Uh, in one of our episodes, the fourth episode, um, and again, it all comes back to that like dogma of wanting to be really subjective and with our soldiers in the fight. So there, there is a, a sequence of, of one through the majority of that episode until we kind of get to, it's a journey um, until we get to where they're going, uh, which required like a lot of, you know, filmmaking uh, excellence on the part of our crew and our director on that one, Craig Zisk. Yeah. Kiki, can you sort of talk about as a producer and also like, because it's really cool that you guys are attempting to do this on a TV show. And I think that it's one of the things that's going to make season two even better than season one. But as a producer, what is it like when you all realize maybe we can do this? Because that is not easy to pull off. Yeah, but I think, you know, I think that's what's so fun about it, right? I, I, I can remember very few instances where a crazy idea came up <clears throat> where it wasn't like, oh, that'd be cool to figure out, right? And I think there's something about trying to deliver on the scale and frankly, the intensity, because I think that's one of the things I would say about season two is you feel it's a much more intense um, uh, season. And the idea of being able to deliver on something like this, which which felt really important to how to tell that story, because that that's at the core of it. It's never about, oh, we want gimmicks for the sake of gimmicks. It's what an incredible way of delivering on that piece of the story. So we have to figure it out. Let's figure it out. And that's, those are the funnest times, honestly. So um, I know how long it takes to make a TV show. So I'm just going to ask, uh, are you guys currently writing any additional scripts uh, for, I don't know, possibly a third season? We definitely talked about, you know, how to, ex how, where to go next in the story. And, and this season ends with a lot of those doors open and those possibilities. Um, there is a work interruption, as you know, uh, in Hollywood. And so that kind of, uh, you know, limited the discussion. Put a bitch in the giddy point. up. Yeah. Right. But I mean, there's so much potential and so many stories that we, we wanted to tell, but you just can only fit so much into uh, eight episodes. Um, and as, as you know, like the universe is, is vast and I think it'd be super exciting to take it on. Yeah. So I mean, people there's are a season three story we would love to tell. Yes. Right. My, my, my question for you is, has any executives at a certain streamer started asking you about saving dates later this year? <laughs> I would say said streamer is very busy right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That actually, that actually is true. No, yes. I mean, I mean in, in, in an ideal world, though, I mean, do you, you know, if it all comes together, do you see yourself being able to film later this year if you do get a green light on season three? Um, I don't know about getting all the way to filming, but certainly potentially, you know, you could get to pre-production. And um, yeah, I mean... It's about six months to write a show, at least to get to get it to the point where you're ready to start prepping it. Uh, and then um, there could be some overlap in those, but it does take a long time, especially a show of this scale. I mean, we're we're raring to go. I, I say that with literally zero hours left in the day because we're still in post on <laughs> season sure. yeah. two. Emotionally, we are raring to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's the reason I don't have all eight episodes is because you guys are still finishing. Yeah, yeah. it's big, right? No, 100%. Well, listen, congrats on the first two episodes. And um, I'll, obviously, I hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Thank you for your time.